In this video, we are going to take a look at how we can create a custom WordPress registration form and how we can automatically add our newly registered users in our MailChimp newsletter list. So this is the normal WordPress login and registration form and we don't have much options here. But we are going to create a custom WordPress registration form where apart from entering our basic details, we also have a check mark which will enable us to add our currently registered user into our MailChimp newsletter list. So if that sounds interesting and you also want to create some amazing looking custom WordPress form, then hop in and I'll show you everything step by step. And this video is part of our complete playlist where we have already covered how we can create a custom sign-in, a custom registration, a custom login and registration multiple tab form and a forgot password recovery form and many other advanced features. So if you want to learn more about these custom WordPress forms, I would highly recommend that you go ahead and watch our complete playlist that we will link in the i button above or in the video description below. But right now, let's dive in, in our WordPress backend and build this custom registration form along with the email subscription option. we need to make sure that we have the plus add-ons for blog editor free as well as the pro version installed and updated to the latest version and once that is done we can now go to plus settings and then click on plus blocks and here we need to search for login and this is the login registration block that we are going to use and here we can see it's part of the pro plan of this plugin so make sure you have the pro version installed and after that just turn on this block and then click on save now we are ready with the blog and we just need to create a page where we want to add this custom registration form. So let's go to pages and here we already have a page created. So let's click on edit. So here we can start adding our form block to build our custom registration form. But in order to make things easier for you, we have already created some amazing looking form templates that you can simply copy from the plusblogs.com. I will leave a link for this demo page in the video description below. So here you can check all the samples that you can use on your website. So let's say we want to use this form. So all you have to do is just click on this copy button here and then go back on our page. On the top, we have plus paste option. If we click here, it's going to paste the entire design from the plus blocks website on our page. And now we can simply click on this form and change the type of form. Let's say we want to create a login form, a login and registration in multiple tab, or maybe a forgot password form. So we can choose that from here. But in this case, we are going to use register form. And in that, we have register option here. And here we can see all the fields for this form. And here we can also add another field. So we need to click on add field. And here in the field section, we can change this to MailChimp subscribe. And here on the form, we can see we have a new option. Yes, please subscribe me for newsletter. And for that, we have double opt-in option. So we can turn this on. So once a user filled up this registration form, they're going to get an email to confirm their newsletter subscription. And after that, we also have tags. So here we can enter a tag ID from our MailChimp account. So this is going to help us organize our newly added audience. So we can go ahead and bring this above our register button. So this is how the form is going to look. And just in case, if you want to start from scratch and do styling by yourself. So here we can get rid of this and maybe we can start by adding a container first and choose a layout. And here we can search for our login and sign up block. Here it is. Let's click on it. And this is the default look of our sign in form. And once again, we can choose any form type. Let's say register from here. And then once again, we can add any field from this register section. Now this one actually looks pretty flat. So we can go ahead and do all the styling using the style tab here. And here we get all the options to style every element of this registration form. And we have already covered about all these styling options in our first two videos. So once again, I would highly recommend that you go ahead and watch our playlist 
from the very beginning so that you have a clear idea about how these form works and how we can style all elements in this form. So let's say after doing all the styling work, this is how your form looks. So we have all the basic registration details and we also have the email subscription check mark. If we click on this form and go to register, here we have the MailChimp field and here we have turned on the double opt-in as well as the tag option. And if we scroll down, here we have add action. So we can choose what should happen once the registration is done. So we have selected redirect. And after that, we get an option to enter our website page URL where we want to redirect our visitor once the registration is done. And now we need to log in in our MailChimp account in order to get the API key so that we can connect our form with our MailChimp account. So there are two things that we need. First is the API key and second is the audience ID in our MailChimp account. So let's log in in our account. So let's first go to audience dashboard and here under manage audience, we have settings and here under settings, we have audience name and defaults. And this is our audience ID. So let's paste it in a notepad because we are going to enter that in our WordPress backend. Now, in order to get our API key, we need to click on our profile icon at the very bottom left corner and then go to profile. And here under extras, we have API keys. And here in order to generate a new API key, we just need to click on create new key and you just need to give it a name and a new API key will be generated. I have already done that here and I have already copied that. So now let's go back in our WordPress backend and then we need to go to plus settings and then click on extra options. So let's open this in a new tab and here at the very bottom, we have the MailChimp API key as well as MailChimp list ID option. So here we need to enter our API key and here we will paste the list ID that we have just copied. Once that is done, let's click on save. And then let's close this. So now our MailChimp account is now connected with our website. Now after this, we need to enter the tag ID here. So we come back here in our MailChimp account again. We have tags option here. And here you will find all the tags that you have already created. If this is your first time or you want to create a new tag, all you have to do is just click on create tag here and give it a name. So let's copy this name from here and then paste it in the tag ID. All right, so now we can update this page here and let's open this in a new private window. So now our visitor can fill up this form and if they select yes here, they will be subscribed to our MailChimp newsletter list. So let's fill it up with some dummy data and let's click on yes, please subscribe me for newsletters. And now we just need to click on register. So let's click here. And now we got redirected to our service page, which we have set from our backend settings. Now, in order to make sure that our email land in the inbox of our user, it's highly recommended that we use SMTP server for our website. And how we are going to connect this form with our SMTP server, we are going to talk about that in a separate video. So once again, if you don't want to miss that video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you will get notified once that video is live. Now, if you come back here in our WordPress backend, in our all users section, we can see our newly added user here. And now we need to check if we got any email to confirm our newsletter subscription. So this is the mail that we got. Let's click on this. And here the user just need to click on yes, subscribe me to the list in order to confirm the newsletter subscription. So if we click here, we just need to confirm we are not robot. So let's click on this and then click on subscribe. All right, our subscription is confirmed. So let's go back in our MailChimp account and verify this. And here in our audience, all contacts, we can see our newly added contact and we also have the tag added here. So this is how we can create a custom registration form and then add our registered users in our MailChimp newsletter list. So if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like. And in order to learn more about these custom WordPress forms, 
make sure you watch our complete playlist that we will link in the i button above or in the video description below and stay tuned for our next video where we will show you how you can add custom fields in your wordpress registration form so if you don't want to miss that make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified once that video is live so that's it for this one and i'll see you in the next video